Hello! In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this stamped border around any object. Ok, so let's start by creating a square. If you hold Ctrl and Shift, you will create perfect square and then the same way we create a circle. Let's recall our circle to be red so we can see better what we are doing. And also enable snapping so we can snap into middle of the object and middle of the line so you can see both of this line appear. Now select both of the object and go to path and defines and this will subtract circle from our square. Now we are almost there and now we just want to delete the sides we don't want so it's this side and this side and this side so you can see all of these sides are selected and we can click this button and it's going to delete sides which we don't want. So we can turn off the fill and enable stroke so we can see better our results. And this is our base pattern we will use. For now, this is fine. Okay, so let's create our base shape by drawing rectangle and adding pattern along the path inside of path effects. Now we can copy our pattern by Ctrl C and clicking this button we'll add it. Now we can change this to repeated stretched and we are seeing that we are almost getting what we want. Now enable this and this and go to normal offset and give it 0.5. This will push it back so it's exactly aligned with our rectangle. So this looks almost correct but not really. Let's add fill so we can see better what is happening. It's not filled properly so uh, one weakness of this technique is that you need to tweak it until you find perfect position so it repeats as you expect. And then go to fuse paths and then go to fuse ends and add to and find the place where the pattern is joined automatically and basically that's the effect and the nice thing about this is that we can still edit this look of this pattern by selecting our original pattern and let's say we want the gaps to be bigger so we can select ends and make sure that this is enabled and we can control shift and stretch it so the gaps are getting bigger then we need to tweak it again so it's joined perfectly or we can even change the size of the whole pattern by selecting all of this and hold on holding control And once you're happy with your shape, you can just put it on the side, copy and paste it, and then outline it so you are sure you are, you are not going to destroy it. And yeah, that's basically it. If you want to add this to any other arbitrary shape, it's pretty easy, just create your shape. And then, and then copy effect from original path. So copy and then go to path and pass the effect probably need to tweak a few things. Yeah, and that's about it.